Okay, hopefully, okay. Dispense. <clears throat> we have this, I don't know, can people see us, hear us? A good question. Hello. If people can hear me, please make a sound or say something in the comments, please. Okay, perfect. Um, just gonna wait for the others to join and we should be fine. We should join in a bit. <sighs> Hello. Hey, Ad. Okay, so I don't think people can hear you because the audio is coming out of the wrong place. So we have to go to settings. Where's the settings? When are we going to see Project Beckon? We're, we're asked in the comments. Well, I, I don't know. That sounds like a terrible project to play. Don't buy it at all. Okay, that's awesome. we should be asking the chat. Here we go. So overpacked. Oh, there's a play button. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to your start menu, then go to audio, and then lower the volume. Great. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, I think I think also I think you're only showing one of us. I'm on Zoom, by the way, on the on the chat. No, I'm showing all of you, but it takes time, so now you're gonna see. It. Got it. Okay, so uh, move the mouse to move the character, and then hold to grab. Okay, cool. I have a plant, and now the plant went away. Oh, hold to grab, release to throw. Great. Now I have a lamp, and nothing happened. There's another plant here. I like, the and now the plant. Did it just let go on its own? Yeah, you let go of the mouse. If you if you release the mouse, then it will just throw it. I like this effect. Oh, I thought it was a curtain, but no. <laughs> no, you're supposed to you're supposed to throw the plant through that. But it, it's like it throws them after a certain time on its own. Yeah, yeah. There's like a there's a timer. Okay. Nice. So what's the goal though? I like the goal the is to fill the briefcase. This briefcase? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, now let's grab a shoe. Why can I grab one pair of shoes but not the other? Well, because you only need to pack the one shoe. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. That makes total sense. Yeah. Wait. So grab that shoe. Grab that shoe. The guy looks like you one shoe anyway. Hey. Throw it. Nice try. You just missed your plane. What plane? I could have put it in the bag as well. Try again. Okay. Grab this plant. But wait. I don't think it's supposed to let go on its own. No, it does. It does. It does? But then how do I get it to the pack? It does if you hold for too long. Uh, 
uh, oh, I just because you're in a rush and naturally. Yeah, but how am I supposed to get the plant all the way from the other room to here? Well, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of different things that can go in the briefcase. It's not like I think there's. I think you need to get five things in the briefcase, but there's more than. There's more than five things in the level. Okay. Like those two couches. Okay, I think that one went in. It went in. It went in? Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Wait, the, here comes Johnny. Uh, no, he's stuck. Okay, he's not. No, he is. No, he's not. And now I have to go get it. Did it go in? I think I can't tell because there's like... Oh, there's a timer. Four out of five, I just need one and six, five, four, how... Did I lose yet? Not yet. Okay, okay, cool. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. Try again. <laughs> I think we can win this. If we all <laughs> put our head into it. You can never do this. And then... But you're the only one playing, it's not the player. Well, yeah. we're all cheering, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just... I mean... It's here for moral support. Okay! I think I did something. How many items do I have in the bag? It's stuck, it's frozen. Okay. Oh, three out of five. Okay, I forgot the counter is at the bottom. No, get the plant. Is oh that God, the plant from the beginning? You want to punch this I think the plant is <laughs> it's stuck. I can't see. Where am I? I'm lost. Is that an axe in the corner? Yeah, but you the can't plant? get to it because it's too late. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I can't do it. We'll have to wait for the quick... If I know Lee, there's usually a reset button somewhere. Probably R? Probably. Anyone checking the comments? No, lost again. Uh, yeah, Lee says he got the isometric controls. And look, and literally on the same day of deadline, we couldn't focus too much on other stuff as much as we tried to get the whole isometric thingy working. Okay. What's the isometric thingy? Basically uh, the view. Camera. The yeah. camera view. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you have some advice for that as the Unreal Engine expert. Really. Well, I mean, well, he already make it work, right? So why, why do you have to comment? Yeah, it's really advice. But, uh, I mean, my favorite parts of this game is just the feel of throwing shit around. It's just very good. It's like... Like the whole like zoom, uh, like green darkening Wait. thing, and the really—it just feels so good. Why? And is it not okay? Is it on the bed and I can't get it now? Why do you hate me? <laughs> um. So yeah. So 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 that so that mechanic feels so good, and I just wish that the. The, the house wasn't as, um, I guess, overpacked. <laughs> no, the, I think that to, adds well, difficulty to the game. Yeah. Um, it, 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 there's, there's just so much stuff in the house that the coolest mechanic in the game uh, it is uh, obstructed, you know? Like, just let me enjoy throwing stuff around. Let me enjoy throwing a couch from one side of the room into the briefcase. I think I threw uh, stuff out of the house, though. You know, there's a couch that suddenly disappeared. Uh, I think the look. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like small bugs and stuff. But like, even if you stay within the house, you know, you're there's so much stuff that your the thing you throw can 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 hit can run into, and uh, it just makes it so like it ruins the satisfaction of a nice throw, or, like that nice mechanical throwing. Um. Why do I want to try again? I just made it. Are you crazy? <laughs> also, I think I found a loophole. What if you just grab yeah. the plant this way? Never mind. What if you just like quickly like click and unclick, you know? Do this. 
and now you're playing football. This sucks. I hate your game. I hate you. <laughs> Yay, everything, dude. Yeah. yeah. Why those doors have yeah, different colors? I don't know colors? if you guys were listening to me. To what I was saying. Why do doors not open? No, no one listened to you. No, no, I like... I agree, like, the throwing mechanic feels great. I feel it's a shame that only the walls have particle effects and physics. It would be really fun if you can just throw things on top of each other and just enjoy the chaos of throwing and I'm having hungry. the impact. Yeah, to I think, yeah, I think the boxes on the walls, um, what I would do with the boxes on the walls, because they just they just make it extremely hard to tell what's going on, you know, like, as soon as you throw something into the walls, they just, like, these, these boring colored blocks are just covering all of the really nice art that's under it. So just make yeah. the blocks disappear. Like there's no point in keeping those blocks after the initial satisfaction of breaking the wall. So just make them disappear as soon as they collide with anything. Uh, like after yeah. like they, they fly around and then like they they, they slowly fade, fade out and then they disappear. What if I that way you can see back. more of the house? You know, I don't want to see boring green and blue blocks. I want to see this really nice house that you guys. Have. You know so so I would do that. Uh, I would just like. Just, just get rid of the clutter. Like I know, like clutter is part of the theme, I guess, of the game. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like okay. that would be that would be mine. We wanted to do that everything destructible, but couldn't get it in. I mean, it's just it's not even a matter of making them destructible. It's just make it's just like you throw the stuff you throw the stuff on the wall, and then as soon as those green blocks have collided with any object, then they just fade out and disappear. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that helps with the chaotic feel of the game. I think there's too much chaos is the thing. And um, the, you already have the chaos from uh, looking for which object you need to put in the briefcase, plus the timer uh, that's really fast, plus the throwing mechanic. There's already chaos. You don't need, to, there's a difference between chaos, I guess, and clutter, you know? And, <laughs> Uh, and that, yeah, that would be my my feedback. Yeah, I agree hundred percent. I just add the start of the level is weird. I think I don't know why you allow me to walk into an empty space when there's no point. Like, why not? The starting area is kind of really big, and you can go left for some reason and just go nowhere, and get lost for like waste like twenty. Mm -hmm. It's just walking around doing nothing. I don't know why that's there. Hmm. Okay. It's, it's uh, uh, another thing, I, this is more of a suggestion than feedback, but I think it would be more fun if you played as the bag instead of uh, a person. Like the actual pack is chasing around the stuff and you have at the end, you have to grab the person, put him in the bag so you can go. I think that would have mm. been more interesting than just the person grabbing things. Mm. Yeah, uh, so Janice was, was mentioning, is mentioning in the comments now that that section is like a tutorial spot to learn the controls. Um, cool, I think that definitely should be a tutorial spot. I don't know if the timer starts when you're in that room. Uh, I don't remember. But I think if you want to make it a tutorial spot, I think you should put the briefcase or something in that room to show how that mechanic works, like how the throwing, because every time somebody goes through, they uh, go through the wall, they're not really sure what they're supposed to do. Where do they need to throw the objects? Uh, um, also, it should, you know, like with the written stuff about throwing, it says when you let go, it will throw. But it didn't mention that also, if you hold it for a certain while, it will also let go. So they should have also mentioned that. Mm. Because I, I was confused. I thought it was a bug. I didn't know it was part of the stuff because it yeah, wasn't part yeah. of the list. Yeah, definitely. Don't say let like, go to throw if you're going to let them throw automatically. Um, or just like have a very clear visual indicator that that there's a timer that's gonna run out. Um, yeah, but yeah, yep. cool stuff though. Yeah, let's... great art, great feel. Uh, just really like some color and some uh, just visual, uh, you know, more visual communication, and it's great. Good job, team. Best team. Best team. <laughs> cool. Go and now oh, for the game, find who's sick and dub something. Okay, it has nice. Oh, I made music for this game. 
You're forgetting that I made music for this game. No one cares about music yet. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, it has a plus button. It's not very good music, to be honest. Either. Wrong. What is that? You I don't should know. have been Oh, I can do x ray. Oh, this is to say like he's healthy or not. So I will look in the x ray and he's like rainbow, so I'm guessing he's LGBTQ. I don't know. And then it has water, maybe medication. So. And then dub, it means go home. I don't know, maybe. Hit on dub. Correct, and dub for some reason. Why? Really? Okay, here's another person. Well, we look at him, and maybe that's his temperature. And or her, you don't know that, Joseph, okay? Cool. It's their well, temperature. Edges. I don't know what this is. It's like a. They're supposed to be eye drops, but it's very. It's not clear at all. Yeah, and now, why did the ear change? Is that a different person? It's supposed to be, yeah. What am I looking at? Like, I don't know, let's say he's healthy. Wrong, you shouldn't... And let's say this guy is healthy. I don't know. No, he's not. Correct. And let's say this guy is healthy. Correct. Wrong. I don't know what's going on. I'm Temperature. So okay, this guy has a mess uh... on his head. So let's just say he's sick. Correct, correct. I mean, all of them are sick. Okay, so if you want, I can... Because I know the people who made this, I know a decent amount of history. Uh, so Laura, Laura Schwede is saying that yeah. x-ray is supposed to check the temperature. But... Model is the eye drop. So, oh. oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this guy needs help. So... This guy's gonna die. Give him the eye drop. <laughs> and then he has a carrot in his butt? The hell? Yes, he does. I don't know if that's a carrot or his butt. Or maybe a okay. or something? I don't know, dude. Okay, he seems No healthy. ears mean the bunnies are sick. He seems healthy. He seems And Lola also says... Uh, low ears mean the bunnies are sick. How are we supposed to know that? Is that a thing with bunnies? Is that a bunny thing? I honestly don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay. I know this game was made like it was a bit rushed and I played it again like like you guys said nothing is clear enough there's barely any visual feedback it's difficult to tell when something happens so like yeah now you what does yeah, the, I, don't know I really like the idea though I really like the idea of like a basically a papers please for checking okay for the should I get help correct temperature okay. yeah okay I don't know, but his eyes look wonky, so you add the, think... nothing happened. I think he's healthy. Okay. This guy also looks healthy. You this can guy... actually click on the ears, by the way, I think. This does not. What does the eardrop do in this case? Nothing. It's can... the eyedrop. I can click on the ear, nothing's happening with his ear. The, the dropped ears, I think, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Well, nothing happens. Okay. Also, like, I don't like how I have to click the x-ray, I don't know how to close it, you know, this, and then I have to, it hides. Yeah. There's no point of me doing this, when I've, unless I'm looking for something, you know, maybe if it's smaller and I have to, like, inspect the carrot in his butt, why is there a carrot yeah, in his maybe butt? Just, maybe just yeah, uh, you would just click and then you would get a full screen x-ray and then you left you let go of it and, and it uh, removes it. Okay, so, so Lara personally said, I'm not sure if x-ray is the best way to take temperature. I don't know, it doesn't seem like to me it's not there's not an immediate connection between x-ray and temperature, so I don't know. Oh, no, do oh yeah. Uh, maybe that's she, how it is in uh, I think she meant infrared. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like what, what does the eye drop do? Uh, so sometimes you can see there's a lot of extra circles on their eyes. Yeah. But really? sometimes, not now. Just keep pressing the dub and go. And yeah, keep pressing dub. Let's try and see if any of them have weird eyes. Oh. I mean, go die somewhere. Just keep going. Just keep going, Joseph. Okay, like that. Up. You missed okay. it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, but what does it do? Here. Like if I say in dub, so put the eye drop. That's correct. So there's no point of adding, giving him an eye drop. 
the eye drop. You tried putting the eye drop on the on the on one of them. Yeah, yeah, it does fix his eyes. But I meant, see this guy? Put the eye drop. Does it fix the eye? Because Lord, according to according to Laura in the comments in the chat, uh, search for clues that will reveal if the bunnies are sick or not. Red eyes are a clear sign of sickness. There are no red eyes. Just make sure to use eye drops just in case they're just stoners. <laughs> oh, okay. So this guy is a stoner. This gun has circles. Use the oh, eye drop. Oh, I see the circles. Yeah, the eye drop does not. Oh, okay. So they are sick instead of. But. I mean, why do you give me two feedbacks, you know, if he's always red, the eye drop feels useless in this game. You know, I can just look, okay, well, it's like, unless... You know? Right. So, it should be like, he's not red, but he has another symptom. So, a symptom, not two symptoms at the same time, otherwise there's no point. If he's always sick, I don't have to look at the ears, I don't have to look at the eye drop, I can just look at temperature, and I'm always correct. See, he's not sick. He's not sick. He's not I sick. See. And it's all correct. Yeah, and by the way, right, uh, just remember this well, there's also no feedback of like when you're winning and you're losing. Okay, this one is wrong, so here we go. This is so a tiny X, but it doesn't even make a difference. You never lose, you never win. It just keeps going endlessly. Yeah. But that's but that's life, you know. <laughs> true, true, Carl, but <laughs> okay, so, I, I play games to end the suffering. <laughs> so, uh, Laura just said that basically, it's if there's an ice on them, the temperature won't tell you for sure. So let's see someone with an ice. Oh, interesting. So now there's. Oh, that's. Okay, but I mean, I so don't know. Is, but, the, but their ears are down. But their ears are down. His eyes are weird. Yeah, his ears are down. So, okay, his ears are up. Let's wait for another person with an ice. Okay, so this guy might be sick. Wrong. You should have him Okay, this guy has wrong ears. The temperature looks fine. So I can say, hey, he's okay. Wrong. The ears. What the hell? But the... Oh, okay, now the ears. So this should be like a sick person, right? Let's say he's sick. Wrong. You should have him Why? Both ears have to be up. The temperature is fine. He's sick. Wrong. It was just a stone, I guess. Anyway, anyway I, I think we've played enough of it. Um, yeah. Okay, different okay. ears. Uh, I don't want to hear that music okay. anymore. <laughs> okay. But in that case, the, the, that answers the question, right? That there are some elements such as ice that prevents you from uh, spamming one form of, uh, you know, checking for temperature and stuff. Yeah, so uh, I, I think, uh, you know, a game that I saw, it had like a list that explains stuff. You know, remember the airport one? It had like a box yeah. uh, saying, if you have ears, it means this, if you have that. It wasn't even text, it was just so a like a small, like a little mythical journal in the corner. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think the art is really nice in this game. The music is okay. I mean, what do you expect from Yad? It's fine. I'm just kidding, Yad, it's good. Uh, but. <laughs> It just, I think, 50 minutes, man. everything that confused us in this game is kind of feedback of what to fix. Like, just make stuff clearer. Yeah. Yeah, I think this game is just an exercise in, like, how important clarity for players is. Like, it's not even clear when you're doing something right or wrong, even. You get a small little notification on the side, sometimes you get a buzzer sound, but that's it. And you're not yeah. even sure why. Also, this something I liked about the plane game we played was, once you do something wrong, the plane explodes. You know? Yeah. Well, again, there's no consequences here. There are no clear consequences. Another thing I liked from the playing game that I wish I could see here as well is there is a lot of character. You could actually interact with the people, ask them questions about the items they're bringing. It, it would have been nice if the bunnies had a bit of dialogue. If you get something right or wrong, they'll say something funny. Uh, if you could ask them why they have a carrot chipped in their ass, for example, that would have been fun. And each one could have a different answer. Uh, yeah, fun stuff like that could have added way more character, especially since the art is so nice. Uh, you mean carrot? It would be really nice to add like a lot more character and dialogue. And okay, so apparently the earrings were weight, and this is why his ear was down. So when I clicked on the earrings, it goes up. Oh, oh, that's smart. That is, but again, how? Okay. Are, like, at least like clear. make them glow or something when we hover over them. 
Like, it'd be nice yeah. if he can just, like, you know, grab the hand of the bunny and then move it and, you know, do stuff. Like, he's interactable, mm -hmm. but that's, like, next level programming. Yeah. I think the gameplay yeah, is more the UX is bad. Right. That's basically it. So it's more UX. Alright, cool stuff. Yep. Yeah. 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 Alright, let's push forward. Good stuff. Packed bunnies. Packed bunnies? By Laura at. What was and that? Th TQ? Oh, what on. was that her name? Okay, there's come packing on. home, I guess. Pack the bunnies go? back in the folder. <laughs> Viking Samurai Ninja? Let's play packing home for us. One second. <laughs> Calm oh. down, Carl. We'll get to your game. We'll get to it. <laughs> okay, so just let me <laughs> quickly <laughs> check something. OBS upload. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. So packing home. It's a Unity game and it does Unity stuff. Your favorite. And graphic quality ultra. I don't think my 2080 Ti can handle it, dude. Uh, oh, this looks nice. I'm gonna. Oh, I like that they added our button that does nothing, but yeah. it's nice. Immediate 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Self promotion. There's no bounce lighting. This is dynamic light. Fully dynamic. I'm supposed to. You died. Cool. Main menu. There's no tutorial. I'm supposed to avoid people. That's it. Once the game starts. The Just game like in real life. The game is not starting. Uh, the game crash? I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna restart it. Okay. So now there's a bar, you know, and there's an exit door, and there's time, which is going up. I can't exit. There's a girl over there that I probably need to avoid. Okay, avoid people. Grab food. Nope, food is useless. Oh, there's a can. Is this Pac-Man? I'm assuming toilet paper. Yeah, but I can't grab it. Hold F to pay respect. Okay. I'm infected somehow. So according to uh, to Dado Wolf guy, you're supposed to get groceries and avoid people. Yeah, I think this is what we're doing. Also, please don't use the F button, like because it's very hard. If I move with W A S D, I'm gonna use my same finger. So I rather if you have like the mouse button or something else. Like maybe the space bar because my finger is on the space bar. Well, if I yeah. have to use F, I have to let go of the D and I can't move. Yeah. Uh, second, some characters are not visible sometimes once they're behind stuff. Like when I, if someone is here, I can't see him. So having some overlay or something for, unless that's intentional, I don't know if that's a good idea though. And there's it feels like a. Metal Gear Solid and Pac-Man. <laughs> well, can you nah. pull up bears? Also, it would be interesting if the food actually reacts when I get close enough to grab it. Like if it actually changes in size, become a bit bigger. Well, there you get the button on the left, right? Yeah, but that's not what I'm focusing on. So I have to like, I'm focusing on the target. Yeah, so I have to look on the side, which is bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's not very clear as well where but like, you're in danger of actually being too close to people or not. There seems to be like a circular aura thing. Some people follow you, some don't. Maybe if they change the color of the characters to make it a bit more obvious who or maybe it is, but it's not just not that different enough for me to notice. Mm. This guy is not following me, he just walks really fast once you get to the edge. And oh, more, just two more groceries. Yeah, but can you find them? Yeah, 
be interesting if there's a visualizer of how close you get to people. Like, sometimes it's not obvious to me, is this close enough or not? I think you gotta go to the vegetable section. I don't think you got anything vegetable and fruit section. Yeah, where's your grocery list? I, I, I have the grocery list, list, but how do I check out? Do I just... Oh, now the door is open. Also, that door should have been open, not a particle effect. Like, it should be... Show me stuff. Also, why would you put an item next to the... See, I told you I should have gone to the vegetable section, Joseph. I won, dude. You have to maybe go to the exit? Are you watching the YouTube stream? So are you behind Yeah, this? Yeah, I am actually. Because yeah. I'm like, it's lagging too much on Zoom for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Watching the YouTube. I can increase the frame rate a bit. Yeah, it's a disaster on uh, Zoom. Wait. So <laughs> let me fix the frame rate a bit on Zoom. Hopefully, give it more data. <clears throat> And then increase. Well, anyway, so uh, what do we this game? Okay. You need Metal Gear Solid stuff. So I yeah. think yeah, it needs like Metal Gear gives you a ton of feedback of like who can see you and when and how they're moving. It gives you a ton of information, especially as a player. So you can always kind of think about ahead of, like you can think about where you're going, where the guards are going. I guess in this because they, they seem to be. They, Choppers seem to be more like guards than choppers. I mean, the game is definitely good. It's very playable, all of that. It's just missing some polishing, a UX pass a bit. And uh, would be if more fun if the AIs were a bit smarter. Like if they would like, maybe sometimes start following me, like add more pressure making. Because right now I could have, you know, I took all my time to grab these items. And it, the game doesn't punish me for taking more time. Just a timer at the bottom, at the top, who no one cares about, you know. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right, cool. Next game. Some of the are yeah. enough as well, so I think you mentioned that already, actually. Yeah. Viking Samurai... Let's go, let's, go, let's, go faster, let's go faster through the through the games. Yeah. Viking Samurai Ninja, Game Maker. Oh, who game made this? this? <laughs> Move? What is this? Slash... <laughs> throw Warp to X. R to restart. No, it works. Okay. X to throw. Ouch. Oh. Carl, is that you? Huh? Did you make this? Maybe. Uh, just uh, for Sky Pirate and a Motu Wolf. It's fine, man. It was the first game jam. It's fine. Don't worry, guys. It was a good. You can jump with the up button, uh, Joseph. Jump uh, up. I think you guys did a good job. Yeah. And also, if you press uh, uh -huh. Z after throwing. You didn't expect that, did you? No. You messed up my game. <laughs> How am I supposed to escape? You there? actually. Jump. Okay. Did I throw this? Oh, okay. Haha! -ha. I'm a dead now. Come here, you! Dun, 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 dun. I like how Joseph is insisting on killing the second guy this way. Because it's fun, dude! What? Bats don't die with an axe? But yeah, you didn't hit him. I did. How did he wake up? Because you worked there. No, I did this. You're not hitting him, Joseph. Not yet. But once he moves, <laughs> see? Oh, now he's dead. Okay. What? They can go through walls? Yeah, I don't know how to code not going through walls. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a bug, it's a Very specific programming skill that that Carl doesn't have. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can do that. Okay. I'm gonna try something which yeah. I'm definitely gonna die, but whatever. Oh, that worked. Hey, hey. Hey.
Can I do that? That's strong. Jump and throw. I wanted to do like a double jump. Okay, I killed whatever I need to get. You you opened the switch on the bottom bottom left. Yeah, that wasn't obvious, dude. <laughs> Fair. Like how he said. Whoa, he just cheesed through them. Yeah. It's sick. It's not how... <laughs> what? What do you mean? It's nothing, nothing. It's that's fine. Not, that's not how you do it? It's not supposed to be, no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carl is watching this, is like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think I can get to the other side like that. Oh, I did. Nice. I hate your controls though. I have to restart <laughs> from the beginning. Like, you didn't know how to do a safe game? Like, really? <laughs> I chose it. Fuck. <laughs> Joseph, just calm down, Joseph. Calm down. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a thing. Calm down, you're just a ninja throwing shurikens, okay? You're also a viking samurai, so sometimes you just swing the axe, you don't throw it. Oh, okay. Oh my god, how? Oh my god, what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> but I knew you were gonna teleport by accident, I just knew it. Yeah, I mean, who puts the same controls next to each other? Like, what the hell? I always want to do one thing, how I would do you, the other. How would, what would you do for the controls? Like, which one am I more likely to use more? And I would use one really easy button for it, and the second one would be a harder button for it. Like this. Uh, Amin says, this yeah. has Game Maker and Sean Spaulding written all over it. Lol. Well, it is made with Game Maker. So, yeah. You're not wrong there. <laughs> I mean, Okay. Happy I killed your monster the way it's supposed to. The one thing I love about this game is that when you throw the axe, there's that green, and when it turns, there's the blue color. I love that little subtle like color coding to remind you what's supposed to do what. Even though everyone always forgets. <laughs> No matter how many times I tried playing and practicing, I, I personally always kept getting X and Z confused. Yeah. I, I, I get those confused as well. <laughs> okay, I have the wrong correct button now. Let's see how it goes. What? I died before I screwed that button. <laughs> Joseph, right, I feel like you don't play a lot of 2D platformers. No. Yeah. And let me correct you, I don't even play 3D platformers. <laughs> that honestly explains a lot, because to me, a lot of the things you're doing seem so un unintuitive, because as someone who's played these style of games a lot, um, it feels natural what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to go. But to you, it isn't. Exactly. Now rub it in. <laughs> no, I don't mean like that. Rui Kudev, which Sean Spalding tutorial explains the axe throw, teleport, and retrieve? Uh, none of them. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that out. I like the blood. Where's my gun? <laughs> So here you're just supposed to fall and move in the middle of the air. Without doing that. Uh, you're supposed to you're, you can try and you can try and move, but I don't know if it actually works, but you definitely should try the axe throw and teleport here. But then yeah. died. Yeah, I think you gotta tell you gotta do the teleport. I don't think you can cheat that one. Alright, try one more time and then just move on to another game. But why? But you can't cheese the fall? You gotta teleport? 
Huh? Yeah, I think you have to teleport on that and that one. No, every time I did it, I would just fall and move to the left. Mm -hmm. Like, if I had OBS, I would show Joyce how to do it. This looks nice. Hey, narrator dialogue. Okay, button. Alt plus O. Find computers. One running window is requesting attention. Heads up. Narrator keep narrator heading level so exiting so narrator. That looks very cool. I love that game. Oh, I know. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you access the secret narrator mechanic for my game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next game. He has the cheat code. Um, walk. Jesus, Joseph, that's fine. <laughs> walk the infected. Select all. Yeah, I really like Viking Samurai Ninja. Like, I really, feel, I really hope like you keep working on it and like all the uh, shit. Just on you. I'm giving you a lot of feedback already on it before. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Zoom is going to die in less than a minute. Oh, okay. Let me zoom you out then. How do I do that? <laughs> Stop share and meeting. Start meeting again. I don't know. Return to meeting. I'll get to it. Stop oh, share. Joseph broke the internet, yeah. And then end meeting. Joseph. How do you end? Cool. And then go to the link somewhere that does stuff. New meeting. Wait, what? Okay, uh, one second, I think I found the setting. Stop share. Okay, now we need to send an invite to participants. Done. Hello, again. Are you back? Hey, me. Welcome to yeah, the yeah, intermission. I can't see you though. Where are you? He is somewhere. Ah, damn it. Your screen is someplace, somewhere, hidden. I see. Uh, maybe if I just do this. Participants, no. Why can't I see you guys? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's pause the share, resume the share, then let's get the new share and... <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I don't know, maybe without your faces for now? It's fine, as long as they can hear us. Can everyone hear us in the chat? I hate this. Okay, can you see the night screen at least? I apparently there's a button. Let's let me exit the game again and open it. Apparently there's a button to make it easier on Zoom for screen sharing for video. So maybe the video experience is better now for you. Yeah, it's way better. Okay, uh, press left click with your mouse to continue. Right, left. Okay. Alright, they can hear us, that's fine. Okay, welcome to my lovely town something. 
We got a report that some of your citizens got infected. Won't you send some home? Cure them with the whack of a hammer. Okay. You can even whack their houses to catch them inside. Uh, Use like my high school all over again. Your left <laughs> mouse button to swing your hammer. You can see the number of affected citizens on top corner of your screen. Don't show any signs, so watch your infection meter really close. Careful not to whack non-infected, they will file you for abuse. You can see your right, abuse meter on I top school. of right corner. Be careful when it's filled up, you have to f they have to fire you. Make sure none of the infected citizens get contact with other infected them. Mass citizen, that's way too much tax, dude. Mass citizen can neither infect or get infected when in some. Don't worry, it's gonna be a piece of cake. When they tell me, don't worry. I'm already worried, dude. Uh, it's <laughs> frozen, though. Oh, now it's... How do you move it? It's not moving. Uh, it now stops. It's uh, not. Is this the thing that you had, the problem that you had before where it can move? It's only happening with Unity games, though. Yeah, let me try that. Let's try it. Let's try it outside. It's called... Jesus, that scream. Joseph, was that you or was that the tiger? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Joseph. It's my screen whenever Joseph goes online. Okay. Okay, now it's moving. Well, it's it's pretty, you can jam. Okay, this guy looks okay. This guy looks okay. We have two infected oh, people. Oh. How is it possible? It says I have two out of eight that are infected, but I only have two people on screen. So come on. You gotta wait. You gotta wait a little bit, and then more people are gonna. Are gonna... Okay. Their Let's see. So someone went in a bikini, yeah, just kill her. <laughs> this guy is wearing a mask. Oh yeah, kill the help. Why when I kill them they stay alive? Hey wait, don't do anything and see what happens when yeah, two they... people get close to each other, that's what you wanna do. Yeah, that works. This guy is sneezing. But he was sneezing. So, you want to see, you don't, they, they all sneeze. You know, it's like a natural thing. Part of life. Do you mean like? Oh, you want to see if their sneezing is. In... You want to see if their sneezing is uh, is causing your infection meter to go up. Okay. Yeah, so it's still like three out of eight, so nobody's infecting anybody. So these you know? guys are clear, but they got close. Someone's getting infected. Okay, those three people. Get out. Get him. Get him. Those two are talking. Talk very carefully. Very quick, that's because they're smoking a cigarette, not sneezing. You lower the volume. <laughs> what? But they were infected. Oh no! But apparently you can't mash and infect it twice. I think. No. Because when you smash them, they're no longer infected. Oh! You're smashing the infection out of them. Is there a spirit though on the hammer? When I play again, why does it ask me to play the tutorial?
So now you're watching on Zoom, right? And should I walk this guy? He was not wearing a mask. Yep. I like how you gotta keep your eyes. I like the I like what's going on when you're like watching. Yeah, but then it feels like it becomes easier over time. Like there's no difficulty. It definitely to becomes easier. Um, also, you can whack houses, but I see no point in doing that. Which one Either of those two? That was okay. Okay, our virus free. That's it. Hey. But I want to kill people. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think uh, the game itself is oh. good, just need a bit more, like, evolution, I guess, difficulty curves, stuff, like, because yeah. harder over Yeah, I think, I think there's, a, there's a way to, like, hit houses and, like, get people to walk out of the houses, but there's no, there's no reason, Yeah. there's no reason to do that, and if, uh, and it increases your, like, abuse meter, Yeah. if you get it wrong, but there's, like, no indicator as to why it's wrong versus correct, so, no reason to hit a house on this. There's a mechanic that I missed. Okay, let me try. Hmm. I disconnected power outage. If again. I, I'm gonna stop screen share for a moment just to get you guys back and then screen share again. Oh. Okay, so uh, to get for you to get like a better experience, it disables you guys. Can't have both. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, next game. It should be called. Should I unseen it? What? Should I play unseen? Oh sure. How many games do we still have? I don't know. Who's counting? I guess we have the three browser games still. Yeah, after these one. So and unseen, this is not for the fainted together. hearts. Also, hold up. a small trick because you can't see the mouse cursor: either get a touch screen or hit the tilde key, and now the mouse should appear. Okay, so we're gonna play. This is a horror game. If you don't like horror games, okay, don't watch us. <laughs> Lee says the disabled card and he had to get a better experience. Sad. Well, yeah. Well, I think I can do one thing though. Who said this? Well, I can't add you guys. I think I can add myself. To what? You can't hear us? No, I can't see you because Zoom is not adding your pictures, but I can manually add my camera, I think. So let's do that. Who wanna see my face? Oh, I can't because Zoom is using it. And just start the game. I think you gotta click the box. Oh, yeah. Sorry. People wanna know what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then, okay, you take the box, you go downstairs. If you just give me a moment, I will actually just try to add my camera. 
Is your it's fine. Right? It's in the door. Except the game. Okay. <laughs> I think I have my camera now. Here we go. So people can see this for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now you can hear stuff. And if I click here, it's the kitchen. And so I can open the fridge and wash my hands for 20 seconds with soap and have an online meeting with some people right onto Zoom kicks us out. Call my mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, just don't. Don't. She probably called. Yeah, definitely. Cook pizza. It's better enjoyed with friends. No, Is pizza it? is just for me. Like It's, it's definitely not better enjoyed with friends. Yeah, it's just better when you eat yeah. it yourself. Oh, you're not hungry after 8 p.m.? That's cool. Good thing it's 7.28 and I'm starving. Yeah. Okay. It's just a great thing to see when you're fasting, by the way. So there's a phone. <laughs> Been on the phone all day. Don't really feel it. Okay, fine. So. Wow, the game is already re rejecting Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing interesting in the paper. Oh, you oh, want that? No, no, I don't want that. Dearest <laughs> Valerie, I'll be coming for you very soon. Can't hardly wait to see you. Oh, it's a date. Is it can't? Or can hardly? Can't, can't. hardly. It's kind of faded off. But... Yeah, but is that how you s how the sentence works? Isn't it can't? I can hardly <laughs> wait. Dude, dude, it's a game, so it's a play on word. Then, so that means they don't want to see them. I don't know. It's still not interesting. It's still a little little negative, yeah, but like... So I can close this. I think it's supposed yeah. to be a monster, so we can't expect it to have like perfect English. Usually. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to the kitchen. But it has perfect handwriting. <laughs> uh, yeah. By the way, if you don't know how to exit the fridge, there's a small X hidden here at the side. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Exactly. Interesting choice of placement. <laughs> yes, very interesting. So what are you supposed to do now? Just try to catch this dropping arrow because that's the only way to click it. It's while it's dropping to click it, so it's a bit challenging. Okay. It's now, good game to Still not interesting, still not, don't want to grab the phone, still want to open the box. Oh, I know what I can I'm do. Not, what does this person actually want to do? I don't know, I can't <laughs> open the door. I need to call someone to help me out. Okay. Oh, now I want to use the phone. Nothing on my calendar or clock or anything, just the green thing with the phone. Whoa, 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 there are games within the game? Whoa, man. No, it doesn't work. It's broken. <laughs> Carpool buddies, so pick you up tomorrow, same time? Well, I'm gonna ask about the phone line. Yeah. Hey, is your phone working? You must love that he has a contact called Carpool Buddy. <laughs> he doesn't even have the name of the person. It's just, yeah. it's like Carpool Buddy. There are no Carpool names of any persons on the phone, by the way. Help, I'm being stuck in the house. I have to stream all the games. No, I'm serious. The door is wide open. Hey, I can ask about the... Never mind, the phone crashed. Okay, cool. Now you click here. It opens and it says... Uh, you know, some guy probably like taking some time to write this. But whatever. <laughs> something, something, hellish, blah, blah, blah. Private detective, etc. Family members... Potential link was proven of. Hellish, Mish Hedi Belgane, Billy Hellish. Billy Istrak. Anywho. Okay, so probably like lots of people gonna die, yay. Okay, just like high school. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we go back and then we play. Why don't you dance with me? Wendy? Why don't you dance? Joseph? I don't know. I can go here, and you can hear the water. So in Sakir Oh, hey, Joseph. Hey, check this out. Be the Irish in the middle. <laughs> also, even though I try to close it, it, just keeps going. Joseph, is that you clicking on the mirror? When I click on the uh, thingy. Okay. Yeah. And then... Should I click other things? Like what? 
Oh. Nothing is clickable. See? It's just, it's supposed to be a jump scare. You just need to jump and be scared. Um, you can go to the side. <laughs> There's a computer, dude. Uh, I'm gonna click on Nothing the... interesting on the computer. Oh, a photo when we were in that photo dancing. At that office party? That wow, that's some office party. <laughs> Wait a second. It's so there's memorable. A, there's a second one. He calls it office party. Huh. Remember office party number 17, Carl? Ugh, the memories. Oh wow, it's a picture of me in front of the fridge. How did that happen? Wow, you're so short. <laughs> I'm a check apparently. Okay. Click on the PC. Just with the amount of emotional trauma you're feeling while playing this game is... I'm traumatized. What do you want to search for? Who killed JFK? No one cares. Pasta! Who killed JFK? Pasta the mic? <laughs> How to make a game jam in 24 hours. We should do a game jam in 12 hours because we're hardcore people. Cold case. <laughs> blah blah blah. Now that's my type of text. No one actually cares. Article, blah, 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 urban legends, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Finder, something. Oh, there's a side button here. Oh, no, I'm back. Um, is there anything that I can click here? Um, uh, I don't know. You know, I think the oh, browser is... You have to click on the blah, blah, blah. The problem with this game is just too much content. New email. There's way too much content in this game, but the problem is yeah. there's no... You know, some buttons are not apparent that you can click them. Like archive, axes, exes, undrag. No, it's axes. Oh, it's all over axes. Dank memes. Wait, 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 wait. What kind of... Yeah. <laughs> what kind of social media account is this? Right? It's just like a folder called X's. Like... Yeah, X's, dude. Or did she make that? Did she, did she have a folder of her X's on her laptop? Just, you know. don't, don't you have hmm. pictures of your X's in a folder somewhere? No, I just use Facebook. I have other kinds of pictures. Oh, yeah. Anyway, spam. Stalker at creepy.com. Is that even a domain? Let me check. <laughs> don't check right now. We'll check it later. Creepy.com. Hopefully we don't get demonetized. Well, I'm just kidding. There's no money on this. Creepy. The voice are creepy. Oh, yes. That is definitely goodbye. Okay. So Stalker at Creepy says, Dearest Valerie, Long have I waited for you, even on the first day. When you came to the company, our eyes have met, but you looked right through me. Yeah, bullshit. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, but it hurt me for the last time. I worship the ground, you blah, blah, blah. Okay, yours truly, Stan. If you add an A, it becomes Satan. Oh, no. Well, I mean, the guy seems... Okay, we can threaten, threaten him. Threaten him, man. Threaten him. Imagine, imagine if emails give you the option to threaten <laughs> The person sending. Okay, and apparently I'm dead. <laughs> we can tell it. Like, oh, risk again? Yeah. What? It, wait, it's too long. You know what? Maybe I should just not. It's so unrealistic. You threaten someone and then they kill you? Yeah. True. Oh, it works. Okay, cool. Next game. I mean, no, you want to give feedback first. Oh, feedback is just like, it's very hard to tell what you're supposed to do next. There's just so many options mm -hmm. that it's hard yeah. to kind of like tell you what is the thing I'm supposed to click on, especially because the things you can click on are not very obvious. And another thing, like with these types of games, you always very subtly direct the players in a certain direction. So even something like a point of big game with lots of puzzles, like when you click on something you're not supposed to, at some point, it says something that kind of directs you or pushes you or nudges you subtly into a certain direction. So if you keep clicking, yeah. Same things. Eventually, Garbage will just say, "I'm not sure that how that's gonna help me help Elaine." So that kind of hints to the player, "Okay, now I should probably stop doing this. Look somewhere else." Nothing hints or gives me the impression that I'm doing something right or wrong. Yes, yeah. happens sometimes. 
Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I think uh, my main problem with the game was just the amount of responses, like negative and positive feedback. Even the stuff that don't mm. do anything should give me a certain type of feedback to know they don't do anything. And just consistency across all buttons, you know, it, sometimes it's just, sometimes it's obvious that button is clickable and sometimes an unclickable button seems really obvious that it's clickable when it's not and the clickable one just blends in. I don't think, I guess, uh, as someone who makes Twine games sometimes, when you have something with lots of text, you split up the text. If you feel it's important to have all the text, you can split it up into different sections or pages. You give someone a mountain of text like that, it's very difficult to pay attention. Or, or like at least highlight the bits that you feel players need to see. Yep. Because most of the times when we, all of us, when we saw that mountain of text, we were like, whatever, what, what's, what can I do? How do I react to this? Yeah. Give yeah, me the yeah. information I actually need. Wait, there's a button for show video panel. I can do that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Then I don't need my picture right, anymore, and then I can start streaming my... Actually, wait, I can add... Never, uh, whatever. Let's add this again. Next game. Next game, yeah. What does it do? Um, together? You want to do together? Let's play together. The game. Well, that I think oh. Bad mushroom. Together, yeah. Forever. Never mind. I can't. Oh, maybe it's still. Let me check if it's. Maybe I think it was still downloading though. Do I have it? Not here. Or not there. Yeah, I have it. But it's a RAR file, so. One second. Are people so still entertained? We're very entertained. <laughs> okay. Especially when we're quietly waiting to start a new game. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Together 64. Together 64, the famous Nintendo 64 game, unreleased until no, now. It's just like. Uh, oh! Uh, first, it means because it's just 64-bit, so it's more advanced. And second, when you highlight a big S, it means if I click S on the keyboard, it just start the game, which is not the case. Right? That's a good point. Yeah, that's why that's I started clicking O, E, and then E. Hey, <laughs> I believe I can fly. It's a nice transition between start screen and Oh, by the way, I disabled game. the physics on the game. Now I can't Yeah, that's really anymore. cool. Haha. <laughs> Okay, I think I need to go through the light. And it makes some funny sounds. Mama, oh, it's like I lost you. <laughs> <laughs> you just slam into a massive. That's it's totally the light. physics that I expected from flying into a ball of light. Okay, <laughs> let's grab another ball. Oh, there's. You know, the, fu the thing is, this ball that I already own is the, like you always think like it's at something in the distance you need to grab. Yeah. So once you have something, it should... Uh... The, sound, the sound of the light as you get close is hilarious. It just sounds like angry goats. Goats? I thought it was your baby or something. But Well, it, it, maybe they're goat babies. It but should, I, guess you're... I think it should just change the color or something to show you that, hey, you're actually like belong to us now. Like make it smaller, like blue, do animations. Once you grab balls, they should become part of you. Like, not look exactly <laughs> the same. Do. Yeah, they shouldn't look exactly the same as loose balls, basically. Mm. <laughs> so, one second. I think I can go to the UFO now. Did you get all three? All three balls? The three? No, I only got two. There's three of them, I believe. Well, let me put those balls there.
and then I f nothing happened. Cool. Yeah, because you need to get the third one. But can you see a ball? Maybe you have too yeah, far to see. Found the ball. Found so, the ball? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. How quickly can you dive down? Well, I just turn off the gravity for a moment. This is what How do you do that? Do. Oh, it's simple. They forgot to disable the debug console. Did <laughs> 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 he swim through them? Boom. The end. That is the game. What did you think, Joseph? <laughs> cool. Um, what's the game? That was it. <laughs> I mean, the art looks nice, the coding is okay, but you just grab a ball and go back to base, that's it. Yeah, pretty much. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that was, that's kind of like my uh, my thought about the game. I felt like a lot of time was spent on things that are not the game. You know, that like don't have any impact, whether atmos whether like on the atmosphere or on the gameplay. You know, well, like... Depends. Huh? I think the atmosphere is not that hard to accomplish. Like most of this stuff, you know, the sky, for example, that's a asset you can get was free for a week or something it comes with lightning the volumetric fog is just a item you added to the scene so uh, it's not i don't think like the lack of gameplay comes from having good art i think the good art is just like the artist did the art but there wasn't much focus on the gameplay itself mm. yeah like i'm very curious to hear from the devs uh, what did it that took the most time and whether whether making something this small was intentional or whether it's something uh, kind of kept them from focusing more on the gameplay. Um, I think the devs are in the chat right now, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Mad Mushroom games are in the chat, so. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think that Mushroom wasn't mad when he first started playing the game. <laughs> well, I think, I don't know. One of the things, I haven't played it personally, but one of the things I'm noticing, the flying doesn't seem like flying, it just seems like floating. Oh yeah, they actually like, just turn off the gravity. You know? And as, maybe like, I'm a bit nitpicky about this, but like, it doesn't feel like you're getting faster or slower. It feels like when there's no velocity or friction, you don't feel like you're going up and down, it just floats. You just constantly float. Even like the core mechanic of the game, which is just flying around and grabbing your children, I guess. It doesn't seem like it feels really nice. Like something, like in Spider-Man 2, for example, just the act of swinging feels great. You can swing around the city for hours and hours. And one of the reasons for that is because they work an incredible amount of time on the physics and feel of like swinging. Sure, but so you can't expect them to make Spider-Man in a weekend. No, I'm not expecting them to make Spider-Man, certainly. Uh, but I feel like with a game, at least gameplay-wise, that's so simple, I feel like I should have been more attention, at least just paid to the flying. You know, just the actual flying, make it feel more like flying than just floating around. Mm. I don't know, I actually didn't mind, uh, didn't mind the flying. The things that... Uh, I didn't mind the flying, I didn't mind the animation, I didn't mind the... The environment. The, the thing that bugged me more, the most, is the light, the balls of light. Um, also, what's the like, point of being up or being down? Like, why would I ever go down here where I can't see anything? That could be like a mechanic. You have to go down to see something, but you have to go up to see something. Well, in else. the future, in the future, if they wanted to add like multiple, multiple. Uh, 
but, things to find you know they can be down they can be up you know maybe yeah but there's no reason maybe there should have been a mix of like them being down being up but, like like if you check out now i can just go really high and i can see all the points go grab them and the game is over what's the point hmm. maybe maybe one thing they could have done is keep you from flying that high or like make it so that if you fly that high like you need to like land really quickly, so you only have like a little bit of a time frame to like get a big view of the map until you fall back on the to the to the ground and you have to like go through the through the city. Also, I when mean, you get hit by the lightning if you go too high. Or, this is so slow. Like, maybe there could be like a stamina meter or some sort of energy. Yeah, I mean, check this out. I'm just go. I saw the ball and it's gonna take me half an hour to just walk to it for no reason. It's just using my time. Acceleration to change the speed, unless they have it and it's not obvious. Is that the sound of a cow? It's probably a yeah, baby that, crying or something. It sounds yeah. like a goat. It sounds like a goat, and it's a very strange sound. Like it goes to a goat, and then it says "yeah," you know, like like excitement. I don't know if that's what happens when you okay. when you grab it. It's what's, a weird sound. What's the next game? Pack my pals. I think. So, yeah. uh, I don't know, someone in the chat, I think Lee compared it, this game to kind of walking simulator Dear Esther, but I don't think that's 100% fair. Dear Esther has a lot of story and a lot of interactivity. A lot of uh, the limited interactivity has a clear purpose in the story that you're trying to tell. Here, there is a story, but I mean, that's another issue as well. The story is bare bones. It's just, I know you're getting your kids, but they're just balls of light. I don't any emotional connection to balls of light that okay. don't have any prior background or meaning. So yeah, we played the game of balls and now we play the game of boobs. <sighs> boobies. boobies. That's the actual name of the birds actually. They are referred to as boobies. Okay. Pack my pals. Pals. Okay. You can walk. He can go in the house. It's a point and click. Okay. And now I'm gonna... Just randomly smash the button until I find the person. That's not okay. Now he's stuck. He's giving you interesting faces. Now go down. I'm gonna randomly click here. Perfect. Continue. You know, the thing is about point and click, they usually make it hard for you not to just randomly smash everything. You have to like think. Because even the correct answer will not work unless you do the right combination. You know, or I can just like keep doing this. The art looks nice. Yeah, the art is really cool. How yeah, many birds do nice. I have it's though? A pretty um, killer booby animation. Yep, not that. I think you gotta move uh, 13. I think this is a newer, ver an updated version actually. Okay. That you're playing. The yeah. version I played had 8. Yeah. I can't enter the house anymore. I'm a stuck. <laughs> Why don't you want me to go inside? Uh, anyway, there's probably a bird at the top. That's how it works. And there's probably a bird in the tree somewhere. Uh, you can probably click it without going in, actually. I think there's a bug. there was a bug. If you just click in the right area, even if you're not inside the house, you can get it. Okay. Unless they fix that. <laughs> the new update. Okay, this is the end of the wall, so you can't really enter. But I still have 13 birds, so now we have to find the rest of them. Okay, I can enter this house, but this house won't open anymore. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Maybe it does. You keep you out. Maybe there's more birds in the trees. Is it because you can only go in the house once? No? Yes, maybe. But I think you can only go in if you found if you, if you like didn't find them all. My assumption is the bug, but sure. There's a tree that does nothing and cool. Yeah, I think if I had more time uh, with this game, what I would do is have, have these little animations in the environment that kind of show where the bird is. Like, also, for example, I would have- check this out. Leave, or I would have like the closet little, like, little shake, 
every five seconds or so. There's something to encourage you to click in that specific spot. Okay, there were like two birds just hiding in this spot. Yeah. Maybe they were just stuck, I don't know. Yeah, I agree with that, Carl. Like, uh, right now, for the most part, you, it feels like you're just clicking on things and hoping for the best. Yeah, there's no yeah. specific reason why I should click this instead of that. Eventually, especially when I played the, the older, slightly older version, at some point I just gave up and literally clicked the entire screen until I got all the birds. Yeah. I think I... I even though I really like the art as well, I would really like if each bird had a slightly distinctive feature. Like the main one that you're playing as could have like a small scarf, a signify like a red scarf, so he's the leader. Mm -hmm. The rest of the boobies could have like tiny little features, like one of them has a mole, one of them has his tongue out all the time. Just little tiny things to feel more distinctive. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a button for exiting door and going downstairs. And this one enters oh. door and go upstairs. Oh wait, no, that's just W and S going up and going down. Never mind. Oh. Yeah. I feel stupid. Okay, cool. Uh... <laughs> All right. Pack my pals. Yeah. What else? I mean, pack my pals. I feel like it's missing a lot of the things that make the click game so special. We played this one. Yeah. We played that one. The characters, yeah. multiple dialogue branches, puzzles. I think it's it's a theme in general. I think for a lot of the games that we're seeing that there's like a lot there's like a lot of communication missing. A lot of UX that's missing. And I'm I'm wondering if like people are building too much game, too much art, too much everything, but like not really focusing on making sure that somebody else is going somebody else is going to be playing this game. You know, it's not just you guys that are going to be playing this game. And yeah. Uh, you know, it it's it's. I think it's kind of an impact of like being forced to like rush through the game making process in forty eight hours and like not having time to get anybody to look at your game and not knowing what is and what isn't obvious. And uh, yeah. like, I don't know what's the solution to that. Like, I don't know if it's just okay. Did you, know, you did we just play all the not what based games? The, the, uh, no, there's still hold up. Do you have hold up? Hold up. Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of the thing? <laughs> what do you mean? What? It's a Godot. It's a Godot file. Yeah. Uh, can you send me the link to download it? Yeah. Well, in the meantime, play one of the browser games. Yeah, I need to open the sheet again. One second. Okay, I sent it to you on uh, WhatsApp. Okay, checking. Hold up. Uh, yeah. Back to your point, Carl. I think that was one of the problems, maybe since it was an online jam. People didn't have access to people next to them that they can just ask questions to immediately, or like just play their games, like get that immediate feedback. You know, yeah. Some of the flaws in their games, maybe. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's. it's I don't know if I don't know if you see. Okay, they got disconnected again and then we're starting a new chat. Please stay tuned. Share screen, first screen, blah blah blah, etc. And Okay, hopefully everyone's back. Run game and let's see. Hello. Yo. Okay, uh, so we still have four games and then we can eat food. Yeah. How yeah, is it possible we're playing those games slower than the other games? Uh, I think we're taking more time to discuss certain things in between. 
This game's not loading though. Oh, before we cut off, I think you were trying to say something, Carl. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to say, like, it's interesting to figure out, like, how to solve that problem in an online setting, you know? Like, maybe have yeah. a specific time where it's, like, you know, testing time or whatever, or I don't know. But then you need to have other people download your game while they're making their game, or, like, yeah. their version. Yeah, I don't know, or even just, if just streaming, I guess. If just giving people yeah, a time. Yeah, you stream yourself playing it for a bit. Like, if I, we give people a timer, they stream themselves playing the game on Discord for like yeah. at least five minutes, and people can see and get feedback. Yeah, I mean, I think that giving the feedback is, is far more important than just like, keep working, you know, and, and finish the game. But like, sure, you can, if you make... If you, if you spend all of your time making a game and you make this amazing game and nobody can figure out how to play it, you know, it's kind of pointless at the end of the day. So, like, make your game smaller and make them readable and playable instead yeah. of making these really big experiences that nobody can understand. I think as well, like, when you, if they can get that feedback midway through, they can realize what to focus on and what to kind of leave by the wayside. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that way we can get more, I don't, I don't want to say more fun, but just definitely more enjoyable game experiences. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. very loud. <laughs> <laughs> my worst nightmare right now. Well, I mean, problem yeah. solved, no more babies. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that sound effect. What is this music? It doesn't have this music in the actual horror game. <laughs> I lost? I didn't get this ending, that, that was beautiful. And I'm back to the normal relaxing music. It's so... <laughs> what if I leave? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Grab one, baby. Oh, I have to use the space bar. And put him back in place. You... Go into the oven. You idiot. Go kill your brother. You... Go do this. And you do that. And I... Nope. Do this. And I'll do that. How do I put Jesus, the baby, in the baby oven? sound awful. Baby in the oven. <laughs> Go play with some knives. God. This is like. Go eat your sister. This is how I spent my graduation ceremony. <laughs> is it actual babies or were they projects? Hard to say. Hard to say. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but now what? Maybe you gotta wait till the, till the timer runs out on the clock? Yeah, you're supposed to keep them inside until the time runs out of the game. Yeah, that's Jesus Christ, I hope my mother doesn't hear this. Okay. I mean, it was very smooth running, grabbing, all of that, that's for sure. No, I didn't find it like challenging or it was finding me. Hey, Brooke, uh, Joseph, you would make, for, you would make a ter an amazing uh, parents. Yeah, I just gave them knives and they were just happy, you know? That's how kids go. <laughs> yeah. Next thing, I'm just gonna give them scissors to run with, so... Yeah, you got the trustful babysitter! Mm -hmm.
Awesome. Bye. It's really great music, by the way. I love that the music changes depending on the end. You already played Pac Man and the Big Bad, I suppose. Okay, do you want to say more about the game or do I. Do I uh, no, let's, let's put this through. We can skip back yet, we've already played it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play the game and provide the chat for the guys because they know it. Okay, so it's full screen mode that you can get to somehow eventually. Well, basically, you can do this. Uh, and then I have to go get scissors and then run with scissors. I like the jumping thing, I feel like, you know, it can do a lot of things like this. I don't think I was playing it that good last time. Uh, you can tell when they're just walking and when they're actually gonna catch you. They always look like exactly the same. Got my beat, bro. He says you make a great dad, dude. Thanks, son. I would love to have, be able, like, I don't, like, I think it's possible, I just want to be able to do double, see this, this is cool. Jump? No, double hook. It'd be a sequel. I think this should be the last round, we showed this game last time. Yeah. Yeah. Just having fun, it's fine. Also, the music is very loud. <laughs> the option where I do this and it propels me a bit higher than the thing. So when I do that, it will make you a bit higher. That'll be lock of off. Someone says your game jam was shown in Breaky video. Well, I don't know who Breaky is, but that sounds How to play? Too much text. Okay. Move. Shift, hold, zero, cut, and keep track of cards. Does it you lower the volume? I'm trying. One second. That's gonna be tricky. Okay. So, uh... Okay. So, uh... Too much info, man. I think you can figure it out. Yeah, don't like arrest Just you when you come. Walk around, you set up shop, you sell things, and you run away from the cards. <sighs> I don't know. You you just tell me. Okay. <laughs> just start. Okay, those are guards, so run away. This is the place where I can put this. Yay! Yeah. And, I'm and I think you can use shift to kind of zoom out. You're too close, you can... 
So I'm selling illegal goods and I have to open a store far away from the guards. So hold one of the shift buttons with shift keys to be able to zoom out and see where the guards are. Okay. Sometimes I feel like the game should be played like this literally all the time. And zoom in should be a button. Because I feel like most of the time should be spent in this camera view. Yeah. Okay, so you press space and then you move around and unpack the things. So one guard is fine, it's just the pack of guards that is dangerous? Uh, yeah, the pack. So you have to move around uh, near the crates to uh, unpack the things. I think you press space as you're doing it. Uh, oh, okay. Now? Yeah, now you wait for people to come and buy stuff. Now you have to switch to selling mode. You switch to packing mode. You gotta go back in the middle and press space, Joseph. No, yeah. because... Okay, no. stop. Wait. No, no. <laughs> Just stop, man. Now I'm packing. There's guards. Selling. Put on selling mode and stop pressing anything. But th there are guards coming when I start selling. Yeah, well, yeah that, that's the point of the game. You gotta wait. See, this guard okay, is they're not coming at you, just wait. But this is confusing. It's not a guard, it's just a guy. Why is he wearing a helmet if he's not a guard? This looks like a helmet. It's not a helmet. Yeah, just change it to a helmet. It is confusing, but... <laughs> oh, unpacking. I you switch see. back to unpacking. Now I leave. Why am I hiding in the trees? Can't I drive next to guards? Uh, when you're just uh, a normal person, yeah, you can move around however you want, but when you're selling, that's the only time guards chase you. Okay. I see a lot of guards with horses. So maybe it's not a good idea to open house here. Maybe it's better to just sell here. And now unpacking. How do I unpack again? Okay, now it's unpacking. Now I'm selling. Here, come get your drugs. Drugs on the house. <laughs> give me money, give you drugs. That's pretty much the gameplay, dude. Like, you go around certain spots, you set up a shop, you sell things, and you hopefully you get to 0% leave. It's actually pretty smart. I like that idea. Yeah, it's a very clever idea to implement well. I uh, feel like I'm safe here, I don't have to move. I just feel like there are certain spots that are way better than others. Like, the guards are supposed to go around, but certain areas are really Why safe, generally speaking. Oh, I can't unpack. Oh, I have to unpack. I have to pack. Now I get it. Yeah, and then I uh, can right, the guard you catch to the, to the One last thing, I want to see if I go to the guards. Do they catch me? Catch me, Sansai! Like this? No. I'm just a normal drug dealer. Where's my bodyguard? <clears throat> Follow me, boys! Okay, cool. And now, for the start... This game could use sure. like a view cone as well for the guards though, like... Hold up! Mm -hmm. So, so, so you can have a better idea of when you're really in danger when you're not. Because sometimes they're close and they do nothing. Other times they're kind of far away and they see you behind the trees. Damn it. Um, it's a pretty cool game. I don't want to run this game. When my antivirus told me it's suspicious. It's because it's a, it's a good old. It's right. It's the last one. It's the last game. I know it's the last game, doesn't, if my enter, like if I get a warning and it doesn't run on a sandbox, should I open it? 
I mean, we know who made it. So if if it, if it ruins your computer, you know who to chase after. Uh, uh, D said he missed the wanted merchant it in a sentence or so. Wanted merchant, stealth game where you sell things. Yeah, we just played it. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell, Lee? We just played it. Yeah, but Lee's asking. I guess he left and then came back. What the hell? Trying to help the guy, man. Maybe we should run it in compatibility. Maybe some now. kind of charity? Help charity? Uh, are we sure it's the guy we know all know? I'm pretty oh, sure. No. turn okay go just die in this corner here we go This is a pretty cool idea of like, we've had a lot of puzzle games, we've packed a lot of stuff, and here you're actually packing the people and stuff. And I like yeah. the ragdoll physics. 
But I feel like the ragdoll nature of them makes moving things around so imprecise, it's kind of frustrating a lot of time. Yeah, but I think that yeah, is like, the game. Yeah, I mean, I'm wondering if making if the ragdoll is actually working against them. Like, I think it adds to the funniness of it, but I wonder if, like... Because, like, you know what the solution is, you know? And, and at that point, you're just fighting the game, which is never really fun, you know? Yeah. Like, rather just, like, okay, click on the hand, hand make it like that, click on the foot, make it like this, and rotate them and place them. You know, like, mother the... You know, I don't know if you need the ragdoll, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's funny at the start, but I feel... Just watching Joseph go through it, it just feels frustrating. Yeah. I really like the way the mo the levels progress though, like every level yeah. introduces yeah. something very subtly and then builds on it. You start yeah. with one person very slowly but keeps building up. The pace ramps so. up. Yeah yeah. The music is really nice. But right now it just feels like as well like I mean you just finish the level and keep going. Like, it'd be nice if I can not grab it from the center, but from a side. But I think that's not what they intended to. Yeah, so like right now, you just... It's pretty obvious. Like, you know what the solution do, is, but, but you're just like ro moving it around, wiggling it. Yeah. Yeah, except for... The levels are very precise as well, so like... Yeah. But it's pretty cool. It's a cool, cool take on that game. It's definitely working as like a mobile game, you know, with like better... M better movement mechanics for the characters, you know, things can work very well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Should we wrap things up? Yeah, just let me finish I think, this yeah. one. Ah, damn it. <laughs> he only fixed that freaking hand. Oh, now I get it. If you grab it from one side, the weight changes. Oh, that was the last level. So check this out, if I just hit reset. If I want to rotate this hand, right? I can just grab him from this shoulder and then the weight is from this side. Oh, uh, okay. So it's also a game of trying to... No, okay, so if I want to grab it from the top, I just wait a bit like that. I want to fix the other hand, I just grab the opposite hand. And now it's kind of fixed, then I grab the center. Kind of. I, I mean, it's a bit wonky, but I think that's the concept. Anyway. Cool. Thank you for all showing up. I can stop streaming now. We can see your beautiful faces here. Ah! I mean, sure. <laughs> We have faces! <laughs> Alright. Thank you for coming. Do this. Let's go have dinner now. Yeah. Thank you everyone for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for all the technical issues or bugs or awkwardness, but there's a lot of technical issues and there's a lot of internet and electricity issues in Lebanon, and also we're very hungry, so. <laughs> Bye! Again, thank Bye. you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Uh, follow us on social media: Lep Game Dev on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and like and some... subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe our channel if you enjoyed Smash this. Smash that like button. Smash that like button or slap, <laughs> depending on which other channels you watch. Uh, uh, right. Click the. The bell icon if you want notifications as well. Yeah, and thank you for our sponsor, Squarespace. <laughs> yes, and uh, Rage Shadow Legend. No, I won't make that. Nah, or VPN. Try audible.com. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, cool. I'll just hit the stop. Projectbackend.com. Okay. No, let's go. Project Backend. But... Yeah, it's our sponsor. Lee, give us our money. Yes. And then we Been have this for months, interesting Lee. comments from Lee spamming the chat. <clears throat> this is all right. Like, don't spam the chat, Lee. Yeah. How do you ban Lee? Report. Don't forget that. Put... Oh, and time out. We'll see you all next time. Add as moderator and stream. No, all right, I'm gonna go. Bye. I really need to eat, so I can't. Anyway, bye.